Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about Donald Trump surpassing the 270 votes in the Electoral College, the Florida job market, and more. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, and this is the lunch break. Donald Trump surpasses 270 votes in Electoral College to formally win the presidency. There were many protesters, but few faithless electors as Donald Trump appeared to cruise towards 270 votes in the Electoral College on Monday, ensuring he will become America's 45th president. With just a few states left to vote, Trump was just two votes shy of the 270 needed to be elected president. Texas was poised to put him over the top, but the proceedings were dragging out because four absent electors had to be replaced. Even one of Trump's fiercest Republican rivals, Ohio Governor John Kasich, said it was time to get behind the president-elect. With the election gone and with growing supply, a strong winter on the real estate market appears to be ahead, according to new data released by the Naples Area Board of Realtors. A growing stock of homes on the market are allowing buyers more options to choose from as homes purchased by investors are trickling into the market. Over half of the homes sold in the last year were properties under $300,000. That same segment saw an 8% increase in closed sales in the month of November. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. After a rather lukewarm October, the job market picked up pace as the winter season rolls in. Florida added 31,000 jobs in the month of November, the state's Department of Economic Opportunity announced Friday. The state added just 9,000 jobs in October. Despite an increase in total employment, an increase in the labor force led to Florida's unemployment rate rising slightly to 4.9%, up 0.1% from October, and down 0.2% from a year ago. And that was the Lunch Break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Lunch Break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.